Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Abdul Bismillahi warohmani, wabirohimi darimil ihsani, alhamdulillahil kodimi awali, alakhiril baki bila tahauli. Semua salat wa salam sarmada, ala nabi khairi man kudwahada, wa ala alihi wa sohbi wa man tabi, amma ba'd. Alhamdulillah. First of all, all praises due to Allah, the Lord of the world, the Master, and the Creator of everything, who give us mercies and blessing, until we can meet together in this simple but peaceful place. Secondly, don't forget salawat and salam. Be with our great Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who guided us, who guided all of the people from the bad character to the good one. He is our leader. He is our role model and he is the only man in this world who will give us shafa'ah in the next chapter of life. Okay, dear everyone, dear my friends, today I would like to explain to you about the concept of educated human. In Arabic we can say as ulil albab. Before we explain about that, I would like to explain to you what is human? According to the Western, let's say Darwin, Charles Darwin, or Aristoteles, human is equal with animal. Aristoteles said that human is equal with animal, but human can talk with each other and then they can give speech. Is that true? Absolutely not. According to Quran, we are so different from animal. Take look at Al Baqarah. We scholar of Bukhari al Malaikat ini jahilun fil ardi khalifah. We are the khalifah. What is khalifah means? The khalifah means we are the agency of God. Because we are the agency of God, Allah taught us so many lessons. Allah taught us how to pray. Allah taught us how to clean ourselves. Allah taught us how to how to respect each other. That is the reason, because we are the agency of God. Allah give us the best way to be there. How about animal? No, they eat because they are hungry. It's a natural instinct. They reproduce. Yeah, it's a natural instinct. That's the reason. And then don't forget, people. Allah will uh, in, in in the next chapter of our life. Allah will ask everything what we did. Allah will take the responsibility. Allah will ask the responsibility. Allah will judge us from everything what we did in our life, in our life. Since our mom gave birth to us, since the beginning of our life until we death, until we die, in the next, Allah will ask everything. Allah will judge everything what we did. If we only do in our life a little things, a good things, a little good things, Allah will judge it. And also, if we do something bad, Allah will judge it. That's different between human and animal. How about animal? No, Allah will not ask animal in the next chapter of life. They live for now, and they they die, they, and then they die. Only that. And then, what is the characteristic of humans? We conclude there are three characteristic of humans. Okay, according to Quran Karim, let's see Surah Tun Nisa. First, human is weak. Yuridullah an yukhafa wa ankum wa khulikal insanan do'ifa. We are so weak. Because of that, we need our God. We need Allah. And then, second, we are so zolim. We are zolim people. We are zolim creature and also stupid. According to Al Azhar, chapter seventy-two. And the last, we are forgetful. Humans are forgetful. According to Surah At Taha, Allahu Akbar. Na ilah Adam min kablu manasiyah, walan najid lahu azma. We are so forgetful. And then. My friends, we'll explain more about the purpose of our life.
my dear respected brothers and sisters, have you ever asked yourself what is the goal and purpose of your life? That we get many different answers, is because people are confused, and most of people will answer, I don't know. Think about it. Is our purpose in this world simply to eat, sleep, dress, work, or do something acquire works and enjoy our life? Is it our purpose? And why are we born? What is the object of our existence? What is the wisdom behind the creation of man and this universe? Think about it. Think about the brain, heart, eyes, the ocean, the earth. Think about it who created them, who has mastered their design and function it, who plans and regulates their function. Humans being to do this? Of course not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in our Quran, Surah Az Zariya, who said, I have only created jeans and men, then they may serve me. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in Al Baqarah, Ayah 13. And, and again, Allah explained in Al Quran, Surah Al Mu'minun, Ayah 115, who said, Them you then, that we had created you for now. And that you would not be returned unto us. My dear respected brothers and sisters, our purpose in this life to recognize the Creator, to be grateful to Him, to worship to Him, surrender ourselves to Him, to be obeyed the laws that He has determined for us. It means worship is our purpose in life. Whatever we do on it, in the course of the worship it's like eating sleeping dressing working or enjoying something between birth and that is conceptual and subject his orders but the main reason for our rex creation is the worship i don't think anyone who is analyzing or scientific will have much of an argument with this purpose and let's see next to okay the last human ulil abab in short ulil abab has meaning which means that people have pure reason and also group who understand good and bad the grace of god from his torment and understand what is beneficial to their life what is a firm fool and by that's why they avoid the audience to get. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. <laughs>